you have common sense if you notice there's a world around do not if you are thinking you can do whatever you want to do there is only one thing that i know is true about existence you may think that it's common it's not so common sense that we're dealing with oh hello there hi Welcome in, everybody. Good to see you. We got you out there in the live chat. This is Season 3, Episode 15. I am Lop, and this is, of course, Miss Sky. How you doing I'm today, not gonna, Sky? I'm not going to lie. I totally spaced out, like, during that whole entire introduction. <laughs> it's you in the introduction. What do I'm you aware. mean? That is, I'm for those who don't aware. know, if you listen to that intro song, that is Sky singing. <laughs> it is me. Now, the the whole song is not on the podcast, right? It's just on the YouTube video, mm -hmm, I believe. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Uh, so, I believe so if you want to listen to the whole song, you can. It is on our YouTube. Be sure to mm -hmm, check it out. Mm -hmm. uh, yes. But how you doing, Sky? It's good to good to be back. I'm feels good. like it feels like we literally just did this yesterday. I don't really, know I feel like it's been forever for me. Like I just I look forward to this all the time, all the time. Yeah. This is like the, the entertainment of my life. So like every week after I'm done with the podcast, I just sit here and twiddle my thumbs in sadness. That's <laughs> depressing. <laughs> <laughs> well. It is my life. <laughs> well, that's, that's definitely something that you do. Yes, uh, but um, honestly, like I, I, it's been a good week. Mine is today. I had to venture into the city. I had to do some things for the nonprofit. And might I say to the city of New York, y'all need to smoke more weed or something. Mm -hmm. Y'all are just angry. They are so angry. Holy cow. I was, I was handing out stickers. They're stickers. I wasn't talking to nobody. I was just like, here you go. Have a great day. Do you like animals? Hi. Like just super fucking friendly. And I said, do you like animals to one guy? And he said, no. And spit at me. And I was like, okay. <laughs> to that well, gentleman, I hope you miss every train. And step on every Lego. And step on every Lego. <laughs> <laughs> it was just so mean. Well, I was telling you that I had never seen Grand Central Station before. And so you uh -huh. sent me some videos of it. I did. <laughs> and the only thing that I recognized from the whole thing was the giant big room. Is that like called a certain thing? Like uh, the main room? Like the, you know what room I'm talking about, right? Yeah, like, main. that's basically where all the, uh, whatchamacallit, the ticketing used to be and like where you would see the um why can't i think of the word where all of the time and stuff are like the schedules i guess mm -hmm. like the big screen like that's basically where it all was in that room um it's but not you know anymore because in my mind as somebody who's never been to new york uh that room is the entirety of grand central station <laughs> negative yeah i don't it's even know what else is there yeah, I literally sent you all the video of, like, pretty much almost everything. And that wasn't even a fraction of Grand Central. Grand Central Station is huge. People, you could literally just visit Grand Central Station and make it a whole day. Like, I kid you not. There's shops, there's food, there's entertainment, there's the trains. You can hop on and get somebody, go somewhere else. You walk through Grand Central and you're, like, literally walking through, like, you're underneath. You're under New York City. It's intense. There's like so many like tunnels and stuff under New York City, which is insane. Mm -hmm. And a lot of people don't know about them, but it's so much. It's like another world. I enjoy under there more than the upstairs because under there, that's where like you have like the street entertainers. Like I, I think I sent you a video with like two violinists or something, but mm -hmm. they also had like other music going on. And you have like all of like the um, the officers and like the army people that are around there. So it's like really safe down there. Like you feel really comfortable. Mm -hmm. Um. Minus, you, you know, sewer rats. Can you panhandle there? Apparently you can, but it's it's one of those at your discretion, depending on what you're doing. So, like, those guys are providing entertainment and also panhandling. Right. But I think it was, like, kind of, like, something that was agreed upon during a certain thing. Like, I think they kind of go to a place. That's what I'm I mean. not 100% sure. Can you go and, sure. like, perform there, pretty much? Yeah. That's what people do, because... And when I, lived everywhere in, in the when I lived in LA and in, in Hollywood, right at on Hollywood Boulevard, right at the 
mm-hmm. Chinese theater. Yeah, yeah, yeah. They uh, would just dress up as characters. SpongeBob or yeah. Ninja Turtle or Spider Man or they just stand yeah. up and take pictures with people and charge mm-hmm. like five bucks a picture. Yeah, and make and stupid money. Yeah, these guys. I talked to a girl who dressed as Marilyn uh, Monroe down mm-hmm. there, and she literally—that's what she did on just on the weekends. She said, and she made like hundreds a day. Yeah, literally. You and and they're everywhere in the city. It's just it's one of those things you have to be careful of where you are because some places don't really allow the solicitation, quote unquote, mm-hmm. and other places do. So it's just. New York is just very weird. You just have to know the the city. You have to know the places, the ins, the outs. I was in a place that I already knew, like walking down from Bryant Park to where I needed to go, Lexington. It's one of those really like, it's Park Avenue. It's those ritzy snobs that are like, I'm late for my business meeting up in the third tower. Like, shut the fuck mm-hmm. up. I don't care. Like, they were very snobby people. And I was like, I knew where I was going. And I was like, this is going to be a long shot dropping off all of these things. But I met some cool people like on the way. I met some some really nice people that were really interested in the cause. So I'm really, I'm really excited about that. So no, that's good. I'm yeah. glad it was a semi-successful day. Cause anytime going into a into town when you I live guess. in a big city is just It's a nightmare. Absolute nightmare. Oh my god, it's a nightmare. All right. Well, this lady has just experienced a nightmare. Uh and you don't know about this one yet. I was just wanted to get your opinion on it. Mm-hmm. Um, but she writes I found out that my brother likes to stand in front of the bathroom door when my sister, who we took in since my parents died, goes in, and he listens to her urinate. He also has voice memos on his phone of her urinating noises. He claims he's not doing anything wrong because he's quote-unquote not touching her or anything. How does that make you feel? Skeeved out, very skeeved out, <laughs> extremely skeeved out, a hundred percent skeeved out. Don't. That's weird. Stop it. Stop it. Don't do that. That's a like that. I, that's I, that's is that cheating? I don't know what that is. I like here's that. That's what this I wanted to talk about was. Okay, it's was, technically okay. So, do I see it as a form of cheating? No. However, however. You are doing this because why? You find her attractive or do you find her repulsive and you think it's funny? What is the reasoning behind why you're doing it? Now, if if it's because you think she's attractive, then yes, you obviously want to be with my sister. So what is happening with us? Nothing at this point. That's go after her. Have at it. Goodbye. I don't know. My what cracks me up is the mentality of the of the guy that says that he's not doing anything wrong because he's not touching her or anything. I don't. That to me is like he's clearly doing it because he's attracted to her because he just listens, right? He just listens for his own pleasure. Like it's it's whatever kink he's got. Like cool, that's on you. But like this isn't that man. But. I would move out if I was a sister, if I found that out, right? When you, like, immediately, immediately. move out. I, the, the, both of them need to just, I mean, unless she's into that, cool. Like, yeah, I'll do whatever. But, but it at brings... that same point, like, she, his eyes are already wandering. He's already wandering. Mm-hmm. Like, that, to me, is my sign right there. Like, regardless of what this is, you're wandering, which means this doesn't just happen here in the home. This isn't something that's just here. And I can't trust you anymore. Yeah. Now, Plain and simple. it brings me to the point of what is cheating? And I've heard people a million times that say that they've been cheated on and all that stuff. And then they tell me and I'm like, that? I don't think you got cheated on. And then I've heard some that's like, oh, they're making excuses for them. And I'm like, no, they're cheating on you. That's that's abs-. so mm-hmm. it's it's funny where cheating is like it's all perception. It really of what is. you consider cheating, but what would you think is like the social norm of cheating? Because to me, it's it's kind of just like if you're lying to me, you're cheating. Yeah, much. unfaithfulness is, yeah. is my thing. It's just unfaithfulness in your partner. That's it, and and that could go to a lot of different things. And I think cheating there's a there's a lot of different kinds of cheating. 
there's so many different. There's emotional cheating. There's physical cheating. There's a lot of different right. cheating. But there's a boundary, and that's something that you have to discuss beforehand and say, hey, these are the things that I consider would be cheating. This is what hurts me. This is what will hurt me the most. Mm -hmm. And lay that out because a lot of people, like you said, they have their own perception of cheating. Now, for me, a lot of it is, like you said, the lying, the dishonesty. Um, but I have degree. I can get over a fact of a lie, right. depending on what the lie Obviously, was. Now, if that was a physical, yeah. Now, if it went to like a physical thing, and now you're physically in like entertaining the idea with another person, then at that point, there there is nothing to there's nothing to say. There's nothing to sell. Like you're gonna, you've done it. You're probably gonna do it because there was a reason why you did it. Mm -hmm. So now I need to move on. Now I need to back off. And I feel like a lot of the times, because I, I am the queen of getting cheated on. <laughs> well, I've noticed um, that a lot of the people that tend to get, you know, cheated on. Mm -hmm. uh, that's a that's a sarcastic cheated on. A lot of them are people that are just very like they've had in, they're just they have insecurities. Yeah, and it's a lot of the insecurities. So they anything that somebody does, they consider it cheating. And and I hate that. Because you didn't get cheated on. You know mm -hmm. what I mean? <laughs> yeah. So you're, you're ruining somebody else's name, making people have this perception of them that they're this, this cheater, this awful person. Especially if you have mutual friends. Mm -hmm. And it's like, no, you... But that's not what happened. Correct. So I don't know. I'd just like to know what everybody else out there thinks. Where is the line on what is cheating and what is not when you're in... A romantic relationship with somebody because mm -hmm. that's mm -hmm. uh it's a weird question i'm with you for it me really it's is. just the dishonesty uh, yeah when it comes to when it comes to if they're if they are showing interest in another person behind your back that's it that to me is cheating mm -hmm. they don't even have to physically do anything but if they are talking to them or whatever, messaging them, sneaking, talking to them behind your back and hiding it from you, then, you know, that, in my opinion, is cheating. Maybe people disagree with me. Maybe people say, like, I, I know one guy, that, and this is a true story, a guy said that a blowjob wasn't cheating. <laughs> I know plenty of guys that said that. <laughs> and that that is... And he was my buddy, and I was like, you're an idiot. Yeah. You know, I was like, you are an absolute <laughs> idiot. If, 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 if you're touching another woman in any way, shape, or form, physically, like in a sexual mm -hmm. sense, you're cheating. Mm -hmm. He's like, well, no, we didn't. One, oh, no, one guy said if he didn't finish, it wasn't cheating. <laughs> yep. <laughs> I've heard it all. I've literally everything you just said were excuses that but were given here's to the me. Thing, though, like, these weren't what? just excuses. These were just like guys locker room talk type of thing, hanging out with all the buddies. And they said this thing because it's what they truly believed. Mm hmm. Or my favorite, my favorite. If I have to pay for her, it's not cheating. Or my, the, the top of the top is. But oh, you're like the one I come home to. Yeah. But you're the one I come home to. So that's what counts. <laughs> yeah. I don't okay. know about it all. I think I'll just stay single the rest of my life and not ever have to worry about it. How's that sound? <laughs> it's a, it's I'll just a stay single now, and do whatever I want whenever I want ever for the rest of my life. <laughs> now, here's, here's my question. Now, let's say you're in a relationship and you're sleeping with a person and everything's fine and hunky-dory. Would you consider that if while you guys are getting intimate, y'all are thinking about other people, would that be considered cheating? Uh, yeah. Whether it's, uh, whether it's someone you know or somebody who's on TV or like a star. Right. Like, just, that is a very um, layered question. <laughs> I personally would be bummed out. <laughs> right? You know what I mean? I don't know that I would consider it cheating, but I would consider it, hey, we need to talk. <laughs> <laughs> you know? Because if I'm not doing it for you, <laughs> then there's an issue here. 
<laughs> uh, I truly can't say that I've ever done that. I've ever had the the need yeah. to do that. Me neither. I mean, I've but never I'm, really I'm, even had but a. You know me. I'm to. very much a just kind of live in the moment type of person. Mm-hmm. And so I just I don't know. I don't think that's a. I don't know. I'd just be more bummed than anything. <laughs> yeah. But you sent me a TikTok, which kind of goes along with this. Mm-hmm. And do you want you you want to tell about the TikTok? What it was. The yeah. So the red flag one. Yeah. Okay. So this drove me nuts. I was watching from the beginning to the end, and I just it blew my mind. It blew my mind. So this dude gives his girl some money to go into the store and get a drink. She goes into the store. However, the gentleman behind thought she was cute and bought the drink for her instead. She said, thank you, walks out. So she comes back to the car and gives the money to the boy. And he goes, what is this? And she goes, oh, um, some guy just paid for my drink. And he flips out. He's like, why did you do that? And he's like, I didn't do it. He just said I looked beautiful and wanted to pay for my drink. So he, I, he did. And you let him? And it went back and forth. And so she was really bewildered up until the point that he grabs a drink from her hand, throws it out the window. She's trying to like, and she's just shocked. She's like, calm down. Like she's really like genuinely shocked. Mm -hmm. And then he proceeds to say, oh, nah, I'm gonna go pay for that beautiful girl's drink right over there. I'll be right back. And then leaves the car to go pay for some other girl's drink just out of spite. Yeah, that's a man child. Why? I'd be elated. I'd be like, babe, go back in there. Go get me something else. <laughs> like, do it again. Like, what the fuck? Get some Funyuns. Go get yeah, me a hot dog. Yeah, that's an like... insecurity thing. He probably had the... I, I know. I get it. I Like, from a guy, as a guy, I get it. I've been the guy where I've been out with my girl and other guys have openly tried to hit on them. You know? <laughs> and to me, it's I take it as a compliment. And I, I you know, I didn't have any kind of... Uh, helped out with that or anything Mm -hmm. but i get the the testosterone filled uh rage i get not the rage (laughs) but i get the 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 anger feeling of of that situation gotcha and i i i'm not this guy was a complete man child and lost it should not have done what he did at all uh but I, i I think if it bothered him that much, he should have been like, I'm not real comfortable with other guys, you know, buying your yeah. drinks and stuff and calling yeah. you people. So if you, you know, please don't ha- accept that in the future. Yeah. You know, yeah. talk to him. And then if that's a problem, then you guys work on that issue. You know what I mean? But like, exactly. I, I don't know. But yeah, that guy was a man child. That didn't make. <laughs> to get to that level of like. Th- when he grabbed the drink, like I flinched. Like I, my reaction was just like, mm-hmm. "Bitch, get the fuck out the car! Put your hands up! <laughs> we about to, we about to get down tonight." But like, no, I just, I just can't. This, this, the pettiness at the very end for me is that's that's what takes me over when it comes to dudes. Like, just don't be petty. Why are you being petty? If something yeah. ha- like why be like why be petty? Like why? What's the point? What is wrong with it's you? Insecurity. That's the only I thing just it can can't. Be. Now, yeah. it also depends on uh, the girl as well mm-hmm. uh, as to how she handled it, maybe. Was she, like, real flirty back, you know? Mm-hmm. Obviously, in this situation, that guy wasn't there to see what happened. Yeah. So he, he's definitely not justified in his reaction. But, you know, what, what was her... Did she like it? Was she interested in the guy that did it? What was her... You know what I mean? Yeah. She did let him pay for it. Was he, you know, because I would be like, if a girl tried to buy me a drink while I was out, especially while I was out with my my girlfriend or whatever, I would be like, oh, no, thank you. I appreciate the compliment, but it's fine. I've got it. You yeah. know, so yeah. it just depends on what her reaction was to it. And we're, and we're not getting that, like, side of the, the story. That's true. But, but either also... way, his reactions were not justified at all. 
No, he he took it to another level. But also at the at the same time, and I think this is just a me thing, but I don't like it when anybody pays for me, whether I'm with somebody or not. Yeah. Like I've had guys ask, like, oh no, let me buy it. I'm like, ah. mm-hmm. <laughs> back the fuck up. <laughs> it's okay. Thank you. I got this. <laughs> yeah. I don't know you. Mm-hmm. I don't trust you. <laughs> back up. But that's just me. I don't know. I just stand my own ground. Independent woman. Yeah. <laughs> Well, tell me this. Are you an independent woman who is also a stalker? <laughs> no. Like this other video that we saw? <laughs> well, I'm just going to break this down for you in a very short story, everybody. Uh, so this lady saw a guy at a checkout line at a grocery store, correct? Yeah, grocery store. She saw this guy in the checkout line that she thought was attractive. She (laughs) saw him paying for his food and basically scoped in on his credit card and looked and saw what his name was. Right? Okay, that's already a little bit like, okay. Because you could have just, you're there in front of him. You could have just said. Thieves do that. Huh? He said thieves do that. Yes. Thieves. So, you know. So she did that. And so she looked him up, found him on social, figured out who his mom was, followed his mom on Facebook, joined her book group, group, her book club (laughs) that they do, and went to said book club to interact with said mother to get... A date with said guy. <laughs> you know what she did? I just realized that she did the, she, the power of suggestion. She suggested to the mother, hey, I'm single. After she just slipped it in, which gave the suggestion to her mom. Oh, she's single. So well, she my went son. there purpose. Like, she yeah. went there with the purpose to, to befriend the mom. Yeah. That's, like, that is called, imagine those roles reversed. Reversed. Mm-hmm. Imagine if I did that as a guy. If a guy did that to me, I'd be so weirded out. You'd be like, you did what now? And she was just like, talking about it so casually as if this was just a normal thing. Oh, I'm, you know, girls, you know how we are. No. <laughs> like, yeah. <laughs> Twirling her hair and blowing her bubble gum like, so bubble. This is, and, and this is my Saturday night. This is what I totally did. And I just, <laughs> it didn't make any sense to me. I was like, this is, how is this okay? The double standards in this world, both, and, both yeah. directions, by the way, everybody. This isn't uh, all women have double standards. It's double standards both directions. All over the place. All over okay. the place. Okay, did everywhere. you read the comments, though? Because some of the people were like, you could have said it all this time if you just walked right up to him. Like, just ass. Right. Because, like, she ended up getting a date with the guy. And right. she's just like, Couldn't now you... I have a date on Saturday. And I'll what if he's not interested? Tonight. Yeah. What if he's not interested? You had to go through all of that to get turned down when you could have just said, hi, I think you're cute. Can I look you out sometime? <laughs> you know, if people put as much effort as they did in the crazy bullshit that they did, I feel like we'd have such a better world that we'd be living in. <laughs> oh, absolutely. <laughs> the insanity. Absolute insanity. There's a, there's a movie with uh, Ricky Gervais called The Invention of Lying. Oh and my god, that's I a great movie. wish that's how society was because at the beginning of the movie, nobody lying hadn't been invented yet. So nobody knew that they could lie. Mm-hmm. Right? It's a comedy, but nobody knew that they could lie. So it was over the top, but like he was on a date and he just asked her, you know, do you find me attractive? And she's like, No, I find you repulsive, but you make good money. And she was just like completely <laughs> yeah, upfront and honest up with it. And honest. And and he was just like, Okay. He's like, so do you still want to sleep with me or, <laughs> yeah. you know, like they were just like, straightforward we? about everything. And I was like, man, imagine if we could live in a world like that where people could just be, be honest. honest like that and not every, and everybody's not just going to get mad at them. Yeah. At or upset. Being honest. And I think it's just insecurities. It it's all mm-hmm. comes down, stems from like singular people. And I think that's why they lie. People lie because they try to put themselves in the position of the other person and how they would feel and what would that would make them feel. So they'll lie about it. And I think that's where it, that's where it bothers me. When somebody has to hide something from me, 
That is them saying that I don't understand my emotions and they're dictating that about me. And mm -hmm. that's where I get upset. And that's where I get pissed off when people lie to me. Yeah. I don't care about the lie. I could care less about what the fuck you're doing in your life. I don't, you are not me. I care about that lie because that is your reflection on me. And that means to me that you do not value me. Correct. Yeah, it's a, just a level of respect. Mm -hmm. So like I am honest to every person I meet. And some people don't like it. And I tell them straight up. And they're like, can you lie to me? Okay, I will. Mm -hmm. <laughs> but I will tell you, I will, I will literally tell you the things that you don't want to hear. Mm -hmm. So and there's a price when it comes to being my friend. <laughs> well, that's one of the reasons we get along so well. is because we both are very open, upfront, and honest with each other. Whether mm -hmm. it's good or bad. Correct. And we're not, we, that's the thing. People don't realize you can say the bad things without being mean and a jerk about it. You can mm -hmm. you genuinely want somebody, want better for somebody yeah. by pointing out the bad things that's, that, they're, that you feel is bad, for, whether yeah. it's for them or something they're doing or whatever it may be. You're genuinely trying to help. And <laughs> it's unfortunate, but I learned years ago that I, I stopped trying to help people. Because just, I, when people come to me for help, I'm, I'm genuinely trying to help. So I'm giving them real genuine feedback on things. And turns out most of the time people just want you to blow smoke up their ass. Mm-hmm. They want yes men. Yeah. I can't be that. They I want say that right that are, up front. Oh, yeah, that's great. That's so good. You know? mm hmm You have any feedback? Well, I mean, you could do this or you could do that. Well, you're just missing the point. Oh, okay, <laughs> then, I guess. <laughs> I've always said to people, listen, I love you so much that I'd rather hurt you right now and tell you the truth than allow you to make a fool out of yourself. Mm -hmm. I will not be that person that yeah. you come back to and say, why did you let me do that? Or why did that happen? Right. I'm not that person. I will, I will literally lift anybody up in my corner. Mm -hmm. I don't care who you are. You have uh, a goal. Yeah, I no. will help you succeed. I will support but, people. Well, no matter what they say, they want to go be... Eat the world's largest pizza ever. And I'm like, okay, listen, just so you know, you're probably going to die. Okay? That said, go for it. I'm, I'll hold up a sign for you. You know, I'm rooting for you. I will support you in your whatever journey you want to do as long as you, I know that you are aware of the implications. The implications. Because... You know, there's a difference between supporting somebody that just doesn't realize how dumb what they're doing is mm -hmm. and supporting somebody who knows the danger and is doing it anyway. Correct. You know, so it's, I don't know. I don't know what's wrong with people and why the honesty thing can't be Work. more common amongst, like, the public, but... Fear. It's just all it is. Everybody's scared. And I get it. I get it. I mean, we were all kids once. We were all scared to tell the truth about things. You know, when you broke your mom's bowl. Like, you know what I mean? You broke the window from playing baseball. I told There's... you that in confidence <laughs> about my mother's bowl. <laughs> Sky. Listen, I don't think she needs it anymore. It'll be okay. You're probably right. <laughs> uh, the... Um, the next thing I want to talk to you about, though, is kind of along the lines of honesty and dating and relationships and stuff, though. But it's, you've heard of it. We've all heard of it. It's called the friend zone. <laughs> now, I really genuinely don't know what your stance is on it. I think you know my stance on the friend zone. I personally feel like the friend zone doesn't exist. Not a real thing. Now, what do you mean by that? So friend zone is once you become friends, say a guy come, becomes a friend with a girl mm -hmm. and he's interested in her and she's not, right? Mm -hmm. But she just wants to be friends. Mm -hmm. She really likes the guy. She's always friends with him or whatever. And she, she basically keeps him around but is never going to date him. Mm-hmm. Because he's in the friend zone. Mm -hmm. Now, in my experience, if you're not an idiot, 
<laughs> you can get out of the friend zone. Because, for one, you don't... When men and women are friends, a lot of the times, not always, not always, but a lot right. of the times, it's because one is interested in the other. At least that's how they become friends, right? No. I don't think so. You don't no. Think so? Ha no, absolutely when a, not. When a man and a woman, because I can tell you from a guy's side, most of the time the guy is probably wanting more. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Most of the times with the guys, 100%. Like, I will say, like, I've had a lot of guy friends that I friend zoned, and we've never once, like, one of my best friends, he's like my brother. I love him to death. I would do anything for him. Um, we've been friends and I know for a fact at one point he was interested in me, mm -hmm. but we just became very, very, very close friends. We've never once, nor will we ever hook up. We were right. just like, he's like I said, he's like my brother. So to me, like, I don't see him that way. Um, and I for damn sure have been friend zoned a lot. <laughs> I just also, feel like you can get out of it. No. I must be an idiot because I have not gotten out of any of them. And it kind of turned out for the best because they turned out to be douches anyway. So, like, we just stopped being friends all in general. But then I've also had friends who we both were not interested in each other at all that were the opposite sex. Like, literally both had zero interest whatsoever. And, and ever well, like I said, up. I'm not saying all the time. I'm just saying most of the time. As a guy, just knowing guys, most of the I just time think the guy is wanting Nova more. Is all I'm saying. No, I'm saying most of the time the guys <laughs> want more. Yeah, you know what I mean. Well, they do, ladies. I'm just being honest with you out there. If you have a guy that you think is just your friend and has been, but you also in the back of your mind kind of know, you know what I mean, that he wants more, but you're not. You, you just aren't accepting it. You're just like not bringing it up, not talking about it. You're just kind of letting him just tag along. Mm -hmm. um, if you're upfront and honest with him, that's great. But don't drag anybody along. This goes both ways, men and women. Don't drag anybody along if, you, mm -hmm. if there's any, if you know there's no chance you're ever going to be interested. Mm -hmm. Right. What I, found, what I found the most when it came to me being put in the friend zone was that the guys who did that with me more or less were looking for an emotional connection, but didn't want to date that yet. It was like they wanted that, but they weren't ready to commit to that. Mm -hmm. And it Well, just... that's another part of the, the friend zone thing doesn't exist to me is because a lot of times eventually the person that was your friend for, through all, all of it ends up being the one you want to be with in the long run anyway. True. Because you get you've been screwed over by everybody else, but this one consistent person has always been there, been there for you. Mm -hmm. You know, so I, I think I think you definitely have to be able to have that conversation with them, though, if you want to get out of the friend zone. You know? Yeah, and I also feel like there's also, like I said, I feel like there's there's more to it for me. I I honestly. I thank the friend zone because it saved me from dating, like I said, a bunch of douchebags. Mm -hmm. So like, I kind of take the friend zone. I'm like, all right, cool. <laughs> like, yeah. I can take it or leave it. Like, whatever. Like, I'm going to go off or I'm going to stick around. You know, no, yeah, no, that makes sense. I think for me, I'm feeling more like the sense of if, if you're interested in somebody and you let them know at the beginning you're interested in them and that's all, you're not interested in them as a friend. You're interested in them as like... A mate, you know, as a as a mm -hmm. as a girlfriend or something, or a, a boyfriend, whatever it may be, you're interested in them in a romantic relationship. Mm -hmm. If if that's all you're after, uh, and they're like, no, but let's just be friends. That's the friend zone I'm thinking you can get out of because you can either walk away from it, or you can become more than friends. You can yeah. you can, uh, you know, let them really get to know who you are and and be a good person and, and really literally climb your way out of the friend zone if you want to you got to put the work in that's true that is very true now when it comes to leagues are you with me on that where i don't think anybody is out of anybody's league ever because i hate the league thing i hate the league thing too but i it's just it's it's weird because in a, in a sense 
there are leagues when it comes to groups because mm. obviously gaggle of girls and a group of dudes like they're gonna be like no but she's hot and everybody wants to find you know follow the gnome and people kind of tend to go with people who are out of their league but i just think it's more of a less like a preference thing not really leagues i just feel like well that's what i mean by i don't think leagues exist i think there's preferences and somebody who you would think i mean it could be somebody who doesn't have a dollar to their name walking down the street could bump into Sandra Bullock, you know, I don't know if Sandra's mm -hmm. married or whatever, uh, whatever, <laughs> bump into somebody and Sandra immediately have a, an attraction to them. Right. Yeah. And I, I believe that if the person with no, not a dime in their pocket that just has a regular, they just work at nine wherever, to five, work a regular nine to five. Mm -hmm. I still truly believe that those two can have a connection. Of course, but like a connection can happen pretty much anywhere. I just feel like I think league more or less goes by beauty standards. I feel like league has nothing to do with a connection or the personality or emotion or whatever. I think league is just are you somebody who the social norm think is hot or not? And it's very plain and simple. And yes, there's preferences out there, but at the end of the day, there there's science behind symmetry and facial attractiveness and blah, 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 and all the other bullshit. And people follow that. They That's where they go with. Right. But there's also people like me. League. Where most of the people I find attractive, a lot of people are like, whoa, ooh, why? <laughs> you know what Very I mean? true. <laughs> now, if I were some rich celebrity, I would still have those same feelings about people mm -hmm. at least based on looks you know i would have the the i still think they're cute i still think they're attractive correct but you so, also you also don't follow the social norm right that's what i'm saying so people are just when they're like oh no they're, they don't want to approach somebody because they're out of the quote unquote out of their league all i'm saying is screw the league mm -hmm. Yeah, you don't know. You don't, you don't know, know until you do. Until you try. Yeah. Screw the league. I know there's leagues in their own dumb, stupid little heads. I get mm -hmm. that, where they think they're too hot for you. I understand that. But until you actually experience some, this person for yourself, mm -hmm. there's no leagues, guys. There is none. You the, the, forget leagues. Forget, oh, they're so much more beautiful. and They're never going to want to talk to me. Forget that because you don't know people until you yeah. actually talk to them. This is very true. So that's what I mean by there are no leagues. Is there are no leagues. There's nothing, there's nothing, there's no rule. You know what I mean? There's no rule that says you can't talk to somebody who the, the public would assume is out of your league. Yeah. How many times have you been out and you've seen people and you're just like, wow, that couple just does not look like they would go no. together. Oh the time all the time that's what i mean there's yeah. no leagues people can connect yes. you know say sandra bullock is a huge freaking lego star wars nerd you know mm -hmm. and she runs into this dude who's wearing a lego star wars star wars shirt but he's a nobody but they connected right over that and boom they hit it off and they have a beautiful romance <laughs> that's what i'm saying leagues are are subjective it's all mm. perception. This is very true. You're so smart. Just, <laughs> that's just the way I feel. I'm I'm saying this stuff, guys, to to encourage people out there to not be afraid to approach that person and talk to them if you find them attractive. You're out, you see mm -hmm. them. Don't be afraid to do that if even if you think that they're out of your league. Yeah, you never because know. Because you don't know until you try. Mm -hmm. And this is unlike me. I'm not the type. I, I'm like anti-dating. I, I just think everybody should be single all the time forever. Uh, no more kids until the human population just dies off and the world goes back to the animals. You know, like that's the free vasectomies for everybody, you know? Uh, There's a movie we need to watch. <laughs> That's my first that's my first order as president. No, second order as president. But 
Uh, first, the, the first order is going to take is going to be needed for the second order to work. <laughs> That's true. The first order is just crop dusting the whole world with weed smoke and <laughs> just calming everybody down a little bit. Everybody chill the everybody fuck out. Everybody just needs to chill out. We'll drop, we'll <laughs> drop crates of snacks. Yeah. We'll, we'll give you a safe zone if you're allergic. We'll give you a heads up. You can go to the safe zone. You can you get your get edibles bombed. there. <laughs> you can have the yeah. other stuff. <laughs> the good stuff. Still. But, and then once that's done, we're, we're breaking out the, the scalpel. <laughs> <laughs> Uh, but yeah, I, I don't know. I, I, this is one thing that has always bothered me my whole life because I grew up, you know, that kind of skinny, nerdy, short kid, you know, and mm-hmm. I graduated high school at 110 pounds, but Token I, what? but I, and I'm not saying this in any like, oh, look at me, but I dated very beautiful women growing up, very, very beautiful girls growing up. And it had no, nothing to do with my looks. And that's why I think I have this strong uh, feeling about how leagues need to be ignored. I think people need to get that out of their heads. Because a lot of the time, come to find out, most of those, those women were lonely because guys were afraid to approach them. Approach them. Mm-hmm. And it goes the other way, ladies. It goes the other mm-hmm. way. 100%. Don't be afraid to approach guys, too. Guys love it. Guys they love do. it. They do. Even they if really you're an do. uggo, they love it. <laughs> <laughs> Guys, don't get compliments. They don't get compliments. So at so the worst, they're going to say, oh, thank you. And you're going to make their day. And that's it. <laughs> like mm-hmm. They're going to be, I'm sorry, I'm not interested. That's it. <laughs> and the one says the douchebag, guess what? <laughs> you figured it out right off the rip. <laughs> yeah. Exactly. Exactly. <laughs> <laughs> You've already won. Yeah, a hundred percent. It's it's goofy to me, but yeah, I don't know. All I'm saying over it all is just just put the leagues aside because you're not in one. You pick what league you're in. You are your own league master. <laughs> I don't know what you'd call it. Fucking nerd. <laughs> I told you, I grew up kind of a skinny, short nerd guy. Not really. I played the sports. I played all the sports, but still, I never felt like I fit in with those people at all. Those yeah. Sports people. Yeah. Being two feet tall, it was hard for me to fit in anywhere. Right. <laughs> I well, usually just hopped in a backpack or something. I went to school probably a year earlier than I should have because of the way my birthday falls. It was like I could have went like either or. You know, I could have went that mm, year or I could have yeah. went the next. And so yeah. I just went ahead and went that year. So I got kind of an early start. But I was younger than everybody mm, in my class. Yeah. And I was going to, to junior high basketball and people were like driving to practice. <laughs> and I'm like, it's like, because they've been held back three times, you know? Like the, <laughs> <laughs> it just it was just an unfair thing, you know? I, I felt like I always had to deal with growing up. But well, luckily that kind of gave me a bit of a confidence in a way because I'm like, well, if I can if I can ball with these guys, I can talk to these girls. That's you know? true. That's true. That does help. Cuz I'm I'm not in the league with these guys as far as sports level goes, but I'm trying, mm-hmm. you know, I'm out there, I'm doing it. Doing your thing. Look at him. So it's a Casanova, what he is. No, that's just it. a, it's just a, uh, <laughs> it's a confidence thing. And I'm just, I'm just encouraging people to have more confidence is all. It's all I'm trying to do with this whole conversation. <laughs> have more confidence. If I you ever, if I it. ever see me, 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 Kunis, if I, uh, Ashton could be standing there with her. It's not going to matter. I'm going mm-hmm. to, I'm going to tell her that she is the most beautiful woman I've ever seen in my life. Just leave it. I'll leave it at that, but I will tell her that. I, I will have to tell her that because it's just one of those things that I will have to get off of my chest if I ever yeah. meet her, you know? So, and, and. Could you imagine if you did, though, and then all of a sudden you were like, oh, okay, I'm done. I don't like you anymore. And then you just got home. 
like walked away like it just left like you got it off your chest and now it's gone and you're like you don't feel like that anymore the only way that would happen is if she gave me a horrible reaction i think <laughs> If she gave oh, me the no. reaction I got when I was in college. With the ill. 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 Oh, because then I wouldn't like her because her, her personality is shit. You know what I mean? She's not yeah. a good person. Yeah. Which I find hard to believe about her. Yeah, I, think I, I find that hard to believe too. She seems yeah. very down to earth. Uh, yeah. Which is another reason I'm, I'm highly attracted to her. She does seem like a person that. Mm -hmm. and, and she's I'm, a huge And her. I'm not basing this off of characters she's played i'm basing this off of all the interviews i've seen with her over the years mm -hmm. you know like she genuinely seems like she's a gamer man yeah <laughs> she's one of us <laughs> so uh yeah i don't know but my in my head what happens is i say that to her and she looks at ashton and is like i'm sorry uh i have to go with this gentleman <laughs> and we leave <laughs> and as we're walking away, I turn back at him and I'm like, burn. And, <laughs> and then we get, in, we get in my 2015 Kia Soul and drive off into the sunset, you know? Jesus Christ. <laughs> That's the way that scenario goes down in my head. Now, do you get married or is this just a lay? We haven't. No, no, we get married. We, we get married. Oh. And we do the whole shebang. So he would marry Mila Kunis. Mila Kunis, probably. Interesting. I don't know, though. Guys, even then, I don't think. There I is a chance. It. I don't think I have it in me, even then. <laughs> even then, I don't think. I'm sorry, no. Mila. But <laughs> even then, I don't think we can get married. We're like, we can live together. That's fine. We're not getting married. We don't have to, it doesn't have to be on a piece of paper. You know? I don't know, man. Keep the government out of it, y'all. <laughs> Keep the government out of your relationships. Why are we involving the government? Do you I think back know. in caveman times when Ooga Booga over here wanted to get with Walla Walla over here and, you know, they're like, well, we got to go over to Ting Tang and get a little bing bang before we can do this, you know? No. Why are we bringing the government into it? There's no point. I don't, I don't know, man. <laughs> I've never understood that. Ever since I was a kid, I never understood that. All these like people were like, we're going to get married. And I was like, well, what's the point of getting married? And I think it has a lot to do with like my parents not having a really good relationship. So I've always mm. like questioned it and just to begin with. But then when I grew up and understood like, well, you get married because of the paper so they could see what you guys are making as a whole now. And now that's where the taxes come in. And then they try to they try to like squeeze it by. But also, like if something happens to your partner, you can't visit them at the hospital unless you're married. Mm -hmm. And that's like fucked up. Yeah. Like what? It and then is. They have common law marriages in some places where if you've been with somebody for a certain period of time and you guys have literally shared the same residence, they're just like, nope, you're married now anyway because you've been together for the appropriate amount of time anyway. And that's fucked up. <laughs> <laughs> like, yeah. Don't do that. <laughs> what if you like live together and then for like a month one of you leaves? <laughs> And then that would back. be perfect, right? Or just live in like the neighboring houses. Like right. we don't live in together, just neighbors. We just have, <laughs> yeah, we're just neighbors. We <laughs> now what? Now what? Bitches! Now what? Now how you gonna <laughs> force us together? <laughs> Can't. And government's really gonna shut us down. Man. They are, man. <laughs> we're gonna be listen. This little podcast with us two animated cartoons here are going <laughs> to be come the government's worst nightmare in the future <laughs> and listen we are not saying everybody should do anything in any negative or violent way we do not condone that we just get your heads out of your asses we're you know just saying funny? yeah live for yourself it's what we're saying <laughs> yeah, that's all we're saying you know what's funny i was actually thinking earlier today i was like it would be really awesome that i hate the, the term 
fucking lesser of two evils. Lesser of two evils. I'm gonna vote for the lesser of two evils. What if there Why were no not evils? just vote for nobody? Can can everyone just not vote? Like, what would happen if nobody voted? Not a single motherfucker. What uh... would happen? I feel like people would lose their shit. I feel like the government would lose their shit. Yeah, maybe. Because like people, I feel like people would finally see. It's the same see. way if people would like, if at all at once people would just stop filing their taxes. I know. D- that bewilders me. That still to this day bewilders me. Like we are in the dawn of technology. Use AI and have them fucking put how much work I owe you. Like do all my taxes. You know where my socials are. You know where my information is. You know what job I've worked. You know where I've been. Y'all motherfuckers are watching us 24-7. So you can't tell me, you can't tell me what the bill is, but I have to do all of the work mm-hmm. and then send it to you in hopes that I did it right. And if I don't do it right, you're going to not only find me, but throw me in prison. Are you kidding me? No, they're not. <laughs> they're 100% serious. <laughs> it's stupid to me. It bewilders me. Yeah. It, it's, it's just. It's pretty dumb. I can't. I just can't. Oh, my God. Uh. Something completely related to this topic. <laughs> Why is... What? I feel like it's not going to be related at all. I, I feel like it is completely related. But why is the walk back from bowling so awkward? <laughs> totally because everybody is watching you and you got all those eyes just staring at you. But, and if you fuck up, they're all going to be like, ooh, while they're looking at just you. Who are you <laughs> going bowling with? A bunch of like minions or something? What do you mean? Like, yes. How do you know? It doesn't matter <laughs> what you do up there. Whether you get a strike or a gutter ball, that walk back from bowling I know, it's still is awkward. always so Awkward, and I'll never understand why. This is why I walk backwards. This is exactly <laughs> why when I do it, I walk backwards. So I don't have to look at anybody or see anybody. I'm just doing my little moonwalk back, and then I bowl my second ball, and then I moonwalk back to my seat, and I sit. And you I just only face one direction the entire time you're at a bowling alley. Time. You're like, all I'm right, north it is today. <laughs> We're only looking this way. They're coming over to give you nachos and stuff. You're like, nope. Nope. Gotta look this way. <laughs> Please place it in Please front of my face. Please come around the table. <laughs> no go. <laughs> Not happening. No, that's just that was just a random thought that I had. It was just like, why is that such a? Are there other things that are like that? Uh, I feel like standing in line at grocery stores is awkward. When you're yeah. you're just standing there in line, if like you're, mm, if you're at your the stuff. yeah, if you're at the checkout line and. I hate it when I've got, I've already started putting things like on the conveyor belt thing or whatever. Mm-hmm. And I have like a huge cart of stuff. And then somebody comes up behind me with like a banana. One. Yeah. One thing. <laughs> and, but I've like, you. they've already started like scanning my stuff. I so I can't, you know what I mean? That's the worst. I hate that. I always, I always, if I see somebody that has a lot less stuff than me and I haven't gone yet, I always, I'm like, no, 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 you go ahead. Like, I get it. Just. Just go. You were here for one thing. I obviously, that's. Yeah, I do that too. If they haven't started scanning my stuff. Yeah. But, but I also do self checkout all the time because yeah, I don't well, nowadays, interact yeah. with people. Nowadays, self checkout is where it's at. But it, it's also the same as when, you know, some places don't have self checkouts. You just you have to go through a line. Yeah. But when the cashier starts ringing up the person's stuff behind you while you're still putting your. your Stuff away, your change or whatever it may be. Mm-hmm. I know, I'm old. I use cash sometimes. Sue me. <laughs> but I'm like putting the bills back in my wallet or whatever, you know? It's yeah. And they're already scanning. I'm like, can I get a second, please? <laughs> That's awkward to me because it's like they're like pushing me out, which they are, really. They want yeah. me to get out of the way. But like, can you give me a second? Like I'm, I'm not a slow moving person. I move quickly on these things, and even I am feeling rushed. So I don't know. There's just there's. Are there any other like examples you can think of that are awkward like that? I mean, there are so many things. Like for me, walking out of a like... store without buying something. <laughs> I don't. I do that all the time. I just don't. I hate it. I just. I just me. know an alarm is going off. I know the camera on the. <laughs> 
the ceiling is watching me. There's a guy in a dark room with a suit on saying, get him, get him, get him. You know, blue shirt, blue shirt. That does not even phase me at all. Like, I don't even think about that. But no, for me, I kind of feel like whenever I'm I'm the one who's in the process of doing something. So it doesn't matter what it is or where it is. But like if I'm at the counter, like ordering or if I'm at the ATM, like taking something out and there's people behind me, like whenever, whenever I'm the one who's up. ahead. Yeah, whenever I'm the one, I'm always just like, oh my God, there's people behind me. Like, I gotta go. Like, I feel like I'm awkward and I'm just like fishing around. I always have like my former payment in one hand and the other hand is just like a conveyor belt. Just go, go, yeah. go, go, go. Same. Always, That's me at Chipotle. I, <laughs> the I, I'm ordering my food. I'm like hollering down the thing because they've already got the meat, the chicken, the rice. They've got the they've got they've got the mild sauce, the medium sauce. I'm like yelling down to the other end. I'm like, yeah, put it on, take it on down, take it on down. Cheese, light cheese, uh, <laughs> you know. And I'm like at the first part where you get your tortilla still, <laughs> you know. So by the time the people ahead of me finally get theirs, I'm ready to go. I'm not holding up anybody ever yeah, in any you're situation. Done. In any situation, I will go to a completely different gas station just to get out of the way. You know which one is like used. I'm so glad I don't go to these places anymore. But like buffets, back in the day, like going to a salad bar buffet and like trying to like mm. look at everything, but like you know you have to keep moving, and then people are behind you and they're hungry, so they're mad, but you're also hungry and you don't want to miss something. And I'm like, I've literally gone back and around and waited online because I forgot to put something on something or I needed something. I'm like, fuck. I know. You I ever just... see those people that don't care at all? They'll just, they'll just hold up an entire, yeah. the whole line. the whole system of everything. Like yep. they'll hold up the government just because they need to go get something. You know what I mean? Like they will shut down anything for the most minuscule stuff and they don't care at all. They don't, they care. don't care how they're, don't care. I, I dream of being that someday. I dream of being able to be that level of unbothered. Those are the same people that leave their carts in the middle of yeah, the... Yeah, they don't care about anything. <laughs> they don't care about the world around you. So you dream of being somebody without common sense, is basically Yeah, what pretty saying. much, yeah. Wow, that's a weird twist of turns. I know, who would have guessed? <laughs> He's going guessed? to the dark side. We're losing him! <laughs> I, uh, I'm just... You know, when you live... <laughs> With common sense in a world full of people that don't have common sense, it really, you're just like, well, I can't beat them. Might as well join them. Join them. You know? No, you idiot. <laughs> that That's the goal. Not what you do. You're calling me an idiot. I've reached my goal. <laughs> Oh no. But guys, that's our show. Episode 15 in the books that quick. I really feel like we just started. We did. Episode, literally episode 16. Did. did I say 15? 16. Season 3, 16. episode 16 in <laughs> the books. Uh, be sure to follow us on all the social media stuff. Everything out there. Anything and everything. Uh, guys, is there anything we need to, to point out before we head out? Because I feel like I haven't given any announcements today. <laughs> yeah, I know, right? Well, I kind of feel like um, for all you guys who are following us on the social media, we really appreciate you guys um, liking the comments. YouTube is blowing up, but if you guys could please do us a favor and follow us on TikTok yes. because we are stuck in a TikTok hell. We don't Literally. know what happened. Our videos on TikTok are only getting one to five views currently. We are dying there. We don't, I don't know, know where something we went has wrong. went wrong somewhere with our TikTok. <laughs> Everything else is doing awry. great. Everything, but our TikTok <laughs> is just. <laughs> And, you know, we're putting out plenty of content for you guys. We made some more over the weekend that we think you guys are really going to like a lot. And they're going to be only exclusive on TikTok. On TikTok. And on YouTube. On our YouTube. 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 I was going to say shorts YouTube. at the same. You shorts. <laughs> <laughs> but like that did not, everything came out. Blah, blah. <laughs> Words is hard. I get it. But, yeah, we will be back next Monday, 7 p.m. Eastern, right here on Twitch for our live broadcast and we will be available on all major podcast stations wherever you listen to podcasts be sure to follow tell your friends family especially people who you think might need a little common sense in their life you know you can be mm -hmm. like hi mm -hmm. 
I've, I've been listening to this great podcast. You, I think you'd like it. You should check it out. That's a really good way of like telling somebody to get some common sense without actually saying, hey, you need to get some common sense. You're an idiot. Yeah. Yep. Yeah. Yeah. We'll be yep. back next Monday, guys. Until then, one thing to always remember. Read the, the room. room.